Two people connected over $20. One trying to make Christmas special for his family, the other wanting to help out a man in need. You would like to remember every Christmas? This is the one that you want to forget. On Christmas Eve, Mark went to his local U.S. bank branch to clear up an account issue so his paycheck for just over $1,000 could be used to buy Christmas presents. I'm away from my family. This is Christmas Eve. You know, I mean, I'm sitting at the bank like I'm working there, you know, working to, you know, beg them, not work, basically beg, you know, to get have my own money released. Mark spent two days trying to get his money, broke and unable to fill his gas tank. He sat at the gas station parking lot for hours waiting for his check to clear. I was desperate, you know. Sitting there at the gas station on Christmas Eve, away from my family, and I couldn't get home. Yeah, I was desperate. His call for help went here, a nondescript building that houses the U.S. Bank Call Center in Northeast Portland. It's where Emily James is a U.S. Bank customer service rep. I was exasperated at that point. I just said, I just, I just wish I had $20 just to get home, you know what I mean? It's Christmas Eve. Let's get this guy home. Something. Let's do anything. And she goes, yeah, that's fine. Um, go ahead and go. I went and got in my car and left, drove over there, handed him 20 bucks, said Merry Christmas, um, gave him a hug, and then left. Went right back to work. Do you feel like you did the right thing? Yeah, absolutely. A week later, Emily and her manager who gave her permission to leave were fired. U.S. Bank issued this statement today, and it says in part, Our recent employment decision in Oregon did not reflect who we are as a company. U.S. Bank fell short of our and others' expectations, we sincerely apologize. It took six days for the money to be put into Mark's account. He could pay bills, but there wasn't enough money for his kids to have Christmas. I can't imagine how hurt his kids felt. Like, can you imagine going back to school and all the other kids are so excited about what's happening and your kids have to go, oh, well, Santa forgot me. And that's not Mark's fault at all. And that it literally broke my heart. Like, if I could do one thing after all of this, it'd be make it right for them. U.S. Bank has offered Emily her job back with better pay and more responsibility, but since her story got out, she's been contacted for several job interviews and says it'd be hard to go back there. The manager, who was also fired was, uh, for letting her leave, has already been hired back by U.S. Bank. Devin,